configuring eye bypass duo is very similar to the VHD. From the diagram, easily go and say add bypass switch. Give it a logical name that will show up on the diagram as well as other places within the interface. You can see below the default values that are here. Notice the fail state by default is open where traffic will flow on the network ports when in bypass state. You could easily change that to close if that is your policy. You also have an option to force bypass on very easily with the blue button down below. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click OK. And it will now update the diagram mode to show you what it looks like once that's been added. Now using a drag and drop method, simply select the network port that you wish to connect to the bypass switch. Once you've selected that port, the system will automatically pull over and connect the physical port that's associated with that. In this case, A and B are together and C and D are together. Now it is time to connect your tool ports to identify which physical ports your tool is connected to. In this case, we're using ports one and two. We can now go in and focus on the tool side, starting with the properties. We want to change the icon so it looks a little bit different. We also have an option for a custom icon at the bottom where you can import your own image. In this case, this will be our primary tool during normal flow and while there are successful heartbeats coming back from this tool, we will send the traffic to this inline tool. Once we have that tool set up, we now want to connect the secondary tool. In this case, it will be ports 3 and 4. Once those ports are connected, we will go into the properties again and set the properties for the secondary image. In a similar matter, you will change the name, we'll call it secondary WAF, and now we're ready to go. Once this is updated, make sure you save your changes. And as those changes are applied, you'll see that the, the blue solid lines indicate the path during normal operations. This completes the iBypass Duo configuration. You'll notice a few things on the screen that give you some visual indicators of its status. The red dots indicate no link, so we have a few things to troubleshoot for this environment. The broken hearts mean the heartbeats are not passing successfully through the tool. You can see our secondary tool will have a little work to do there as well. But just a few clicks, drag and drop, and you can easily set up your iBypass Duo.